Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to install Flashcast and root a Google Chromecast. Um, to do this, you're going to need to download the Chromecast slash root uh, zip file and then extract it. Uh, the download for that will be in the description of this video. So inside of this, we have a copy of Flashcast version 1.1, the Pwnedcast version 1 firmware, and a copy of Win32 Disk Imager. Now, to root a Chromecast, you need a exploitable Chromecast, which has never seen an OTA update. You need a powered USB OTG cable and a jump drive with at least one gigabyte of storage. So as you can see, I've plugged in my jump drive and it's empty. I don't have any files on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the folder, go to WinImage, and open up Win32 Disk Imager. It's going to ask you for uh, admin permissions and then you accept. Now, on the device, make sure it shows the jump drive you want to put Flashcast on. So, as you can see, it says L, and my drive is L, so that's good. Now we are going to open the image. So you click the Browse, go to wherever you download the files. So for me, it's on my desktop, Chromecast root, and then down here where it says Files of Type, change it to star dot star, and you'll see Flashcast slash 1.1.bin. You will select it and click Open. Now we just press right, and you're going to get a warning that explains that this can corrupt your device if you don't know what you're doing. You're going to press yes. Right successful. Now we can exit out. Now this is very important. If you look at your computer here, you see how the jump drive shows up as FAT32, but you're unable to do anything. Do not try to open it, and do not format it. What you want to do is just right click, eject. That's it. The reason is, is it needs to be formatted on the Chromecast first. So now we're going to boot it on the Chromecast. So now you're going to take your Chromecast, your jump drive, and your USB OTG cable and get it ready to boot the uh, jump drive. So here is how you boot Flashcast on the Chromecast. You take your USB plug cable, or cable, you take your USB jump drive that has Flashcast flashed on it, which we just did, and you plug it into the OTG cable. And then on the OTG cable, you plug the power end into a powered cable. So this cable here is plugged into my computer, and now it's powered. Now, you take the Chromecast, and hold the button on it. This is important, because if you don't hold the button, it won't tell it to boot USB. So I'm holding the button, taking the cable, and plugging it in. And I continuously hold it. You hold it until you see the jump drive start flashing, at which case you can let go. So right now, as we speak, it is booting Flashcast, and it is going to format the jump drive so we will be able to put files on it. You will know when it is done because you will see the Chromecast restart, and you can tell it restarts by watching the LED. So if you watch here in a minute, we'll see it restart. And when it goes pink like that, and then red and white again, that's how we know it restarted. So now we can unplug the Chromecast, take the jump drive, and plug it, it back into our computer so we can put the ROM on it. Okay, so now that we have the Flashcast jump drive booted and set up on the Chromecast, we can now uh, plug it back in to our computer. And now, if you give it a second, it should show up as a jump drive named Flashcast. This lets us know that it has been properly formatted, and now we are ready to put the image on it. So now we're going to open up the root folder. We're going to take the Pwncast image, and we're going to copy and paste it over. Now that it's on the jump drive, we need to rename it to Eureka image. So, Eureka underscore image dot zip. The reason we do this is because this is the name of the file Flashcast looks for to flash. If you do not name it Eureka underscore image dot zip, it will not flash and Thus, it won't be rooted. So, you need to make sure that this is the proper name. After we're done, we can then eject the jump drive, and now we just have to boot it on the Chromecast. So just like last time when we booted the Flashcast, we just plug in the jump drive to the cable, hold the power button, and plug in the cable, and wait to see flashing lights. So now we know it's flashing, and now we just let it sit. Now the flashing process here may take up to 8 minutes, and it's normally best to have the Chromecast plugged into a TV when you're flashing, so you can see if it's actually booting properly. In this scenario I'm not doing it, but it is the best way to do it. And hopefully, when everything is said and done after flashing, you should be greeted with the Pwnedcast boot image.
This is how you can verify that your device is now successfully rooted and you are running the Pwned Cast firmware.